When the Russian Soyuz MS-17 mission went to the International Space Station in October 2020, it took about three hours to get there. But the Crew Dragon capsule takes an entire day. What's up with that? Why does it take so long? Let's talk about that today. Hey guys, Tori here from Overlook Horizon. Welcome back to Two Minute Tuesday, which is where we talk about a space or science topic briefly for about two minutes, as close as I can get to it, every Tuesday. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. So like we usually do, let's put two minutes on the clock and let's get to today's Two Minute Tuesday. So let's take a look at some of the things that SpaceX and NASA use to determine when to dock to the International Space Station, because it's not as simple as it sounds. They use a few things like lighting. Will they be on the night side or the day side of the Earth? Communication alignment. Will they have good coverage for communication during docking? Crew sleep schedules so that the flight crew is not too tired after a long launch day. And so the ISS crew is awake and ready to observe the docking procedures. But the big one really comes down to orbital mechanics and your phase angle. Once in orbit, you'll typically be in a lower orbit than the station, which means you'll be traveling faster so you can catch up. But at some point, you'll need to raise your orbit with a phasing burn to start an intercept. Performing a phasing burn doesn't immediately change your altitude. It actually raises your orbit on the opposite side of the Earth. So after your phasing burn, you'll need to wait until you reach that peak or apogee and perform another burn to match the station's circular orbit. This is something called a Hohmann transfer and it can be performed multiple times with a coasting, i.e. waiting, phase in between. Once you've reached the station, then it's just a matter of lining things up and docking. But I can hear you already. Tori, the Soyuz does all those things, so what gives? Well, step one of the process is to launch at the precise Time. Now, sometimes getting a perfect alignment means you would have to wait months or move the entire station into a better orbit, neither of which are ideal. That means that you might have to launch when it's not perfect. Also, launch vehicles these days are getting better and better, but they still have margins, and for good reason. Remember, at the end of your orbital insertion, you'll be traveling 17,500 miles per hour, and if your engine burns by just one second too long, you could be five miles out of place. So these margins give a larger tolerance and allow them to plan course corrections. One of those margins is the phase angle, which is the angle between the spacecraft and the station relative to the center of the Earth. Launch windows have to fit within a certain range of phase angles. In in order to perform a fast rendezvous like the Soyuz, you need ultra precision and your phase angle needs to be within 12 to 18 degrees a six degree range. However, a longer rendezvous opens you up to more launch opportunities because you could launch with a phase angle that has a much larger range, something more like 170 to 320 degrees, which is a 150 degree range. So really, the reason the Soyuz can do it comes down to four things. The confidence in their systems, the vehicle performance, modern technology, and the desire to actually do it. Can the Crew Dragon get them there faster? Yeah, absolutely. In fact, the Crew-1 mission's first launch attempt would have gotten them there in only eight hours because the alignment of the space station was a little better. Could we see even shorter times? Maybe someday, but it's not a huge priority. The Soyuz, on the other hand, have you seen the inside of a Soyuz? Who would want to stay inside the Soyuz for any longer and they have to. So that's where I'm going to wrap up this week's Two Minute Tuesday. It's a little bit of a long one, but that's how it goes around here. If you have other burning space questions or topics you think I should cover, drop them in the comments down below. As always, don't forget to click the like button, consider subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Is it in orbit or on orbit? I never know which to say. Demo 2 took 19 hours to get there, so what's up with that? What's up with that? <laughs> what's up with that? It's like a parrot. What's up with that? What's up with that? <laughs>